Hey folks, Squill18 here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Crusader Kings 2. It is the Anonymous Dynasty, and we are a Duke. Duke declared glory of Orleans, Orleans over here, um, which is fantastic. Finally got a little bit more land. We've got uh, four total counties to ourselves, and we've got one vassal over here in Vendome here. No one particularly likes us and our vassals. I did go and give some minor titles away, and um, I started spying on someone. I think, um, I think maybe the, yes, Guitar over here, the mayor who hates us the most. We're going to spy on him and see if we can get any kind of manipulation there. We can spy because we're currently on intrigue focus, although we are probably looking to move away from that and go into more family focus soon. I, and my trusted snoops and sneaks will keep a close eye on the activities of Mayor Guitar of Yen. A close eye indeed. Mm-hmm. Vassal Inheritance Warning, that's fine. Vassal Levy's raised too long, that's fine. We've got some weak claims we could uh, fire off for other people, including for my wife, the County of Mantua. But we'll hold off now. My wife, what's the claim situation? Will not be inherited until pr unless pressed into war. Hmm. So, first of all... Hey, my wife is pregnant! Awesome! Even without any tremendous, um, yeah, I was gonna say it's down here somewhere, uh, without any tre tremendous fertility boosters, and despite the fact that my wife is, um, as the game says, a little bit queer, turns out that we were able to figure it out anyway. Oh, this is excellent! I can do righteous imprisonment of the Count. He's the leader of a plot. What plot is it? He wants to fabricate claims on my duchy. Um, it's only 54%. Let's see what we can do to improve this, shall we? So, we're going to get our Spy Master. Um, actually, I'm not sure if the Spy Master is the one I want here. There we go. Arrest Chance. Uh, we want the Arrest Chance over there. Um, because, yeah, it's Relative Intrigue. So, that should help us do it. If he rebels, then, you know, that's the way it goes. But, yeah, we need to make sure... 54%. Seriously? Ah, we've locked him away. Excellent. So, he loses a council seat. No one else strong really particularly wants it. Uh, I guess we'll give it to you. You're better, and at least you'll be a little happier if we do that. So then the question will be, what do we do with Count Drogo? We could just leave him in there. Um, especially since his heir is part of a revolt somewhere, somehow. Forced vassalization. It would lose me a bunch of prestige, but I could vassalize him. This one would cost me a bunch of money and piety. I think we go to war against this guy right now. Since he's independent. Um, how many troops can you raise up? And we still can't raise a ton ourselves, but we've got a little bit more. We don't have much in the way of money. We might be okay. Hmm, I don't know. Yeah, we need to get our diplomacy up. We need to do a few different things, potentially. <sighs> Any decisions that would help right now? Did we exhort our, our subjects within the last few months? I guess we did. That's how we have tyrannical. I think we've got to go. I don't like the fact that our numbers are not going to be particularly strong, but it feels like we should probably do this. Six thirty-eight, four seventy-two. He's got some money. That's not enough for Mercs. I think we can take him, and I think we should. Force vassalization. Bring up the troops. Get everyone set up over here. Not much luck. Uh, we'll just chill on that then. Another council position. Sure. Well, uh, that's our cupbearer. Uh, I did it because he's content, <clears throat> so it seemed like a relatively safe thing to do. And yeah, we'll probably go right to sieging him, because then if he attacks us, 
I don't think they implemented the EU4 system. Um, really? There's no way for you to avoid that. You would get the river crossing penalty. Alright, yeah. Let's do it. Let's see what we can do. <clears throat> Not entirely confident about this. Oh, he's changing his mind. I wonder if we can avoid a river crossing over here. It doesn't seem likely. <clears throat> it might be nice, though. It might be doable, because I think that's going to make a big difference. Um, you want to join the plot to kill Prince Pepin the Evil. Now, Prince Pepin the Evil is not currently the king. He is the heir. You know, he actually... Oh. Yeah, he doesn't like me. I mean, no one really likes me. Defeated me. Um, I will decline. Doesn't seem like something that advances our interests. So why bother? And yeah, we'll just make sure that we've got... Everyone we can over here. I wonder if I should be in the middle. Actually, I've got the biggest army, as it turns out. Um, yeah, I guess that's just the way it's going to be. And if I go here... Yeah, river crossing. Um, if I make it this way, then there's no river crossing. There we go. So that's what we're going to do. And we can accru accrue a little uh, morale on the way, so I think it's going to be all right. Invite the plot! Oh! From, uh... Oh, this is... This is my aunt is asking me to do it. Alright, fine. You know what? I'm already a known murderer. What could possibly go wrong. New important decision. I can extort the subjects again. I'm gonna hold off for now. Oh, no. I still get it. So no matter what, there's gonna be a river crossing penalty. It's only a, a, a regular one. I think it's probably fine. We've got to go for it. No guts, no glory. Okay, it looks like we're going to be fine. Oh yeah, we've collapsed all their flanks and everything like that. So we're going to get huge bonuses. Boom, 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 boom. No reason to chase them. I think we'll just siege out what we've got here. Uh, we, cap we captured Gilbert Carling. You have claims on... Everything. Just weak claims everywhere. Alright, we'll just hold off then. And just, yeah, we'll siege. I mean, we could potentially chase these guys down. But I think sieging is going to help us out more. Uh, it's not quite the end of 810 yet, so we can't change our things. Here's Panzer Tard. Who will be... Ooh, could be learning, could be diplomacy. We're going to go with diplomacy. Because it's one of the strongest traits there are. The Pope died! So we got a new Pope. Oh, you can't even siege this place! Excellent. Wonderful. All you got to do is bend the knee, buddy. We're not, we're not taking the place uh, away from you. We just don't want you to be independent anymore. We've got a new daughter! Where is our... my list? Here's my list of names. So yeah, Declare Glory and Duchess Wilgofortis have had a baby, and this baby is going to be named Russell. Russell, a great, very feminine name um, for our lovely daughter over here. Wonderful stuff. Russell, uh, well, oh wait, hold on. We've already got a Russell. I, I forgot to update my list. It's going to be Supernova! Supernova 1934, technically. I'll leave the numbers out for this one. Supernova, that actually is a great name. I mean, it ends in an A, so it's like, it's you know, feminine name, right? Or something like that? Exactly. Exactly. Boom. Just making sure to update my little, uh, my little list so I keep track of who's been named so far. Excellent. So, yes, this war, we're going to bring it up to speed four. Ooh, someone needs childhood focus. It's Yoko Finn! Um, ooh, who is depressed? Oh, that's too bad. I wonder if there's something I can do to make you happier. So it's not heritage, because that just changes your, your type. This would make you a Khazar and Tengri. That's interesting. Focusing on Tengri faith. Oh, okay, okay. So this is both culture and faith. Uh, uh, culture and religion, this is religion. We're going to make you prideful. There you go. Maybe that'll help you with your uh, your depression. Short subjects. So 810. Victory in the siege over here. 
Some peace offers are happening. We got claims that are pressable. Ah, I will never. Yes, I want to become ambitious. It's plus two to all my stats. Excellent. I've gained the ambitious trait. Um, that will make my liege like me less, but it gives me plus two to all the things. How's this plot? You know what? It's pretty pathetic. Let's just stop backing it. One more siege. We we're 66%. This is going to bring us to 100%. We're done. Enforce demands. Boom. So we're going to drop this down. We may have to chill for a bit because um, we, you know, we're getting more vassals over here. And things may be a little bit dangerous here. Yeah, we can't switch you yet. Um, because they're not going to like me very much. I may have to just solidify my base a wee bit more. Um, Maine. Duchy of Normandy. I mean, I guess one of the questions is, so the Duchy of Orléans... Uh, I've got it all. Yeah. Yeah. All those are within me, which is good. Now, Anjou would normally be what? Would be the Duchy of Anjou, which is just Anjou and Maine. It's a little less powerful than some of the others I can go for. Down here, Blois would be also in the Duchy of Orléans. Now, Tours is Frederick the Monster. Answers directly to the king. Um, and is in the Duchy of Berry. Yeah, it's only two provinces, the du jour one. There's, because it's nice to get duchies, like you personally want to control duchies that are huge, that have a lot of provinces in them. Okay, the Duchy of Champagne. That's not bad. So we get a, like it doesn't include Paris. And uh, honestly, in the end, we probably want to go for the Parisian one, which is the Duchy of Valois over here. The problem is that duchy is currently being held by our king. That's probably our ultimate goal, but may have to wait until we're a king. We might want to make a run for the duchy of Champagne over here. Um, which does currently exist. Oh, right. The Duke of Champagne is married to my aunt. Matrilinearly. Is there a way to confirm what kind of marriage it is? Oh, right there. So, my child, Archambeau, is presumably in the line of succession. Mm, not immediately. Why? Oh, because it's senior seniority. Uh, it's held by the Carlings and it's seniority succession. We would need the succession laws in this country to change to be cognatic so that our bloodline matters. Still, I suspect he will start to get claims or something, maybe. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. All right. Well, I think we can just go ahead and unpause. And yeah, kind of chillax things over here. Do we have a um, rebellion map mode? Revolt risk? Um... Apparently, we've got a fairly high revolt risk over here for some reason. Um, council, you are suppressing revolts. Right there. Thank you. That'll help. Uh, collect taxes in Paris. Thank you. You can go ahead and... You know what? Actually, I think we can study st technologies abroad now. We'll, we'll go ahead and do a little bit of that, see if we can get some tech up. Um, you are culture, researching cultural tech. Um, I'm wondering if I should suck up to my liege a little bit. I mean, it probably won't stop him from declaring wars on things. Um, we could sow some internal dissent for him, though, which would be interesting. That actually is kind of interesting. So this duke over here really doesn't like him. 
Well, we might be able to make that worse if we... Duke of Thringia? Where's it zooming into? Oh, this is zooming into his location. Um, there we go. Go to location here. Where's the shield for Thringia? What am I seeing wrong here? Well, lots of things. Duchy of Thuringia. Oh! Okay. But you're the regent over here. So maybe I should just sow descent there. I don't know. Let's see what happens. So, extort subjects. Yes, no. We'll be able to get rid of that soon. Yeah, you guys need your stuff back. And yeah, if we can just, like, get rid of the, like, the short reign thing, which is a little bit of a problem with the seniority succession, because your people tend to take the throne. I don't know if that's taking the throne is appropriate for the duchy type thing, but they take the throne um, a little older, so they don't tend to rule as long. So they don't tend to build up as many positive... Uh, relationship modifiers overall. And we will certainly be looking to change our inheritance laws at some point. We will, in fact, be going to... Um, we want primogeniture is what we want, um, ultimately, here. Um, and probably Ignatic Cognatic is going to be fine. Oh, no. Absolute Cognatic is what we want just to leave it as open as possible. Probably. I don't know. It doesn't really make a huge difference. Although, um, certainly Ignatic Cognatic would be better than Ignatic because if right now, if we don't have any sons at all, we would sort of be screwed. So here, sons and daughters will work just fine. Um, it'll have to take in steps because we need some pretty aggressive law changes over here to go with a, a absolute Cognatic. It might not even be quite possible because of cultural problems. Uh, unless we can get the full status of women passed. But, Primogeniture is going to be good, because this is going to be the oldest child inherits. Um, and while that's not a good way for us to consolidate a bunch of holdings, like the seniority one is, um, I think it will help us manipulate the succession laws a lot more. Um, ooh, so West Francia, they are going to allow title revocation. Which isn't necessarily what I want. We might want to increase council power in West Francia here, just to weaken the king. Now, we could declare independence at some point. Overthrow? Uh, no, I don't actually want to do it. Probably. I don't know. What is this? Are you revoking my title again? You bastard. You bastard. Oh, we've got a hunchback child. Aw. Well, be, be humble about it, I guess. Um, clearly, we're going to need to extort our people. Oh! He is wealthy. I can just take it from someone specifically. Yeah, we'll still lower. No matter what I do, everyone hates it. Uh, lose militia quarters. No. We'll go for max amount of money before the war. Um, search for Smith. See, that sort of thing would be nice. I'm going to have to decline and fight it. I should spy on him. We can actually get a fair amount of plot power to kill him. Which is interesting. So, I will decline. I don't have very many troops, though. 912... He's going to be able to raise 6k. It depends on how many people join my cause, and there's enough sort of cranky people with this guy. Well, it's worked out before. We're going to keep declining. What could possibly go wrong? I guess I could have raised my troops first. Doesn't make much of a difference, though. Um, do this, do this. And yeah, if we can catch the people who are isolated and win some fights with terrain... We might be able to make this happen. So 
just try to generally move together. Uh, I'm starting to think Frozen Drag might fancy me. She's of my dynasty. My cousin. I mean, it's far enough apart that it might be fine. Uh, but no, it's not appropriate. Um, oh, an emissary from the Pope has arrived in my court. According to the emissary, Holy Father is concerned about an employment of heathen advisors. Pope has asked me to remove them from position. Uh, this is available due to my high intrigue skill. I will... Oh, I'm going to imprison this dude who's my spy master. I rule my realm. I lose piety. The Pope would like me a lot if I did this. Defended me against the Pope. He's my spy master, but also, like, a family member. I rule in my realm. I'm not going to imprison him, especially since there's still a chance that he'll inherit something awesome. Uh, he's no longer present in the realm, so there's no point in further spying. He's probably, um, like, you know, fighting and stuff. Any chance... We might be able to kill him. Um, let's hold off a little longer before I start bribing people. Because I might need the money for something else. So he's attacking me with a penalty, which is great. And we've potentially got some extra reinforcements coming there. Oh, he's spawning some more troops back there, though. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know, you guys. Uh, really? Defeat? Oh, my people weren't going to the right place. Well, alright, we'll we'll deal with it. Still group up over here. Hmm. Lax childhood focus. You looks like we're gonna do martial education. Alright, you're grouped up now. I'm going to... Here, I'll put myself in the middle. Top person there. And the other person over there. Wait, hold on. 24? He should really just be in the middle. I mean, come on. Okay. Um, can we hit any of these smaller groups before they all form up? We might be able to hit these guys, actually. Um, again, doesn't look like we can avoid any river crossing. Um, I think we might be able to do this and avoid a river crossing. Although, you know what? Never mind. It's going to be much safer to just go up here. Oh, there's some other combat going on there. Fall of the Avars. Okay. Go that way. Avoid a river crossing just a little bit. Um, yeah, there's really not a whole lot of dudes left here. Hold on. I know I keep changing my... No, you guys might get reinforced. Keep going there. Let's go up to speed four. Oh, you're running. You bastard. There you go. Gotcha. We're going to extort the subject some more. Everyone's going to hate me, but we're going to have to. I foresee mercs in our future to win this. Okay. Done. You're probably retreating to right there. Um, are you the person I'm at war with? What to revolt? No, you're not. This is the one I really have to kill. Or I can just go siege out his shit. Lollard Heresy appeared in the County of Provence. Yeah, well, that's not one of mine, so. Alright. What can we hire from a mercenary point of view? Uh, 190 wouldn't be unmanageable, but I was going to say maybe 150 would be better. An extra 1,500 troops... Would put us at 4,000, just above his number, but not impressively more, uh, n enough above his number. I think we'll just wait and do some sieging over here. Special tithe, that's good. And we will bop these guys, I'm not sure if it helps me or not. I 
happened yet. We'll go we'll go siege his actual capital here. Is what we're gonna do. Yeah, he's got slightly higher numbers. I'm just hoping he'll maybe waste his time fighting something else. If he comes for me, that'll be really bad. No, he's just sieging that. Okay, we can swap sieges for a bit. Ah, uh, siege equipment boost. Very good. Very helpful right now, I think. I keep checking the tech screen for stuff like that. Um... I don't, know, I don't know if it matters which one of these. They're all pretty cheap, but... Here, we'll accelerate that. There might be some new buildings. We won the siege there. Brings us up to 48%. Would have been great if we'd been able to capture any of these people. He's going to siege that out, but I'm less concerned about that. Hello, another thousand dudes. Something else must have come into us. Um, there, we might do another siege. Now we've got enough that if we got mercs, we'd be able to... I think i got to stop extorting my subjects. As much fun as it sounds. Oh yeah, that reset our war, go war score. Somewhere along the way. All the way down to zero with these sieges. Childhood focus... For a nephew of mine. What do you got so far? You know what? You got the stewardship. Let's go for thrift. That might lead you to the right thing. Alright. Um, I guess I'll finish the final step of the siege here. Which he's also doing... So it's not like we're really racing much. Oh, there's a big group over there. Um, we're going to take this opportunity, actually, to go ahead and get ourselves some relatively affordable mercs. So yeah, if we do this, we're going to spend about half our amount. You know what? I'll go with this one, the Lithuanian ban. Slightly more. Obviously, you know, we'll be draining money pretty quick, but that'll probably be fine. I'm going to see if I can get these guys. Where are you moving to? Oh, you're coming at me. That's an interesting... No, I was going to say, you're probably not. I'm going to... Stop, stop, stop. What's this? Oh! Uh, Panzer Tart. No, I'm going to not make enemies out of my own people here. I will finish the siege after all. Come on. There we go. Okay. Let's squish this. I mean, the only people I'm at war with, so presumably it is the right kind of thing. Big numbers advantage. We'll see if we get war score out of it, or if I've made a terrible mistake. But yeah, no, he's the right color. It's because he's this guy, but he represents some of that. Victory, war score, things. Um, me. Okay. Alright. Let's see what we can do. If we get there first, he'll have a big river crossing. Okay. We didn't get there first, but it's going to be flat ground with no penalty, and we'll have a pretty big numbers advantage. I hope. What's his relative military skill? Um, 11, 17, 15. Um, wait. No, commander. I don't know. Whatever. All right, there's different tactics and things. Yeah, these guys are collapsing. Ooh! I'm... I'm going to go master flat terrain, because I think most of where we fight is actually flat terrain. Crushing victory. And we've captured a mare. Now, I think these people will be re um, um, released once the war ends. Okay, we clearly have to follow this guy wherever he decides to go. I don't know if I can predict wherever he might be. Um, but he's leaving this way for now, so I guess I'll start like that. I suppose there's still the Flanders army that I can try to chase down. So I'll start with that.
And you know what? Never mind. I'm going down this way. Need like a force march command or something like that. Extort. Press ducal claims. Yeah, I'd rather do the primary one. We still got dudes wandering all over the place. We'll get the river crossing, but a pretty big numbers advantage. I mean, two to one. And it's just a normal river crossing, so I'm feeling pretty confident about this one. Comet is the best teacher. Oh, I've gone up to level four. Nice. Man, that is actually really, really good. Money's still good. We're not about to go bankrupt or anything. Victory. Bishop was captured. You were sowing descent in ways and things. I don't think that's actually the, the handy sow descent. Uh, just perform... I don't know. You know what? Stay there. It's fine. Whatever. I could go and de-siege things, but I think the right thing to do is to keep following this army. Who can we imprison? Erixit! Because she's probably leading a plot. What is her plot? I guess I would have to go to known plots over here. She wants to kill Ian in Canada. No, 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 no. Listen, stop that. What about the rest of the plots? Anything that's bothering me? I can put auto stop plots, but this way you do get to imprison more people and stuff, and there's there's goodness in that. We have a strong Marbin is strong. Well, clearly, um, I think we're gonna go with struggle, which can lead you to rowdy. Well, we'll start with that and see how it goes. Yes, your scheming was misguided. That's right. Well, you're going to get squashed along the way. Boop. Very nice. And almost certainly he's going somewhere over here. In the fog of war. Where'd you go, buddy? Oh, there he is. Uh, there'll be a big river crossing if we do this. There's no way he comes at me. No. I'm going to go around the big river. Because the little rivers are minus 10. That's pretty bad. The, the big river is minus 20. We've seen how brutal that can get. Um, let's go and bop this little guy. Because we might as well. Uh, did you just call in an ally? Italy? Well, I mean, we still should be going okay here. But I think Italy might have just gotten called in here. Yeah. Hmm. Um. Wait. Declared West Farrington Revolt, Lollard Revolt on... Lollard Heretics have risen up. Okay, I didn't lose any of my dudes. And these Lollard Heretics aren't actually against me, really. Better understanding of battle, 50% military spread rate. Okay, that sounds excellent. Wait. Oh yeah, I got the river crossing. So we're going to beat them up again. I am wrathful! That actually is handy right now. The plus three marshal. Alright, 60%. I feel like I keep hunting these guys down. Maybe I should have turned off the... I mean... Should I have turned off the, the Shattered Retreat? Maybe. I can see why people don't like it very much. There's no one leading the middle? I'll lead the middle. Ian in Canada can lead that one. Maybe he'll get some military skill. Uh, oh, I got 100% over here. The Lollard Revolt. So I will enforce my demands and get those guys to stand down. And get some more people in my prison. Sure. Panzerhard finished his education. Eh, he's only an underhanded rogue. But it could be worse. We should really look into marrying these people off as well. 
Okay, do we have full sieges over here? We do. We're at 63%. Um, I could desiege some stuff. I could also go and bop more of these guys. Uh, maybe what I'll do is I'll leave that army along, alone for a second. Come over here, maybe consider and desiege some stuff, because he's probably going to run down there. None of it's particularly um, convenient to get to. I might be able to catch these guys without them running away. Oh man, we gotta put a cut in here. But I think we are once again going to win our resistance against giving up Paris here. I mean, to a certain extent, I could just give up Paris. Because I have a whole duchy, I have lots of other land. You know, Paris isn't as much of a big deal. But it, the series is called The Count of Paris. So there you go. <laughs> Thanks for watching, folks. I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.